Hey guys, Solman here. Welcome to Let's Play Portal. So, for some of you this is probably coming off as a rather different choice compared to games I've played before. But, uh, trust me, I really want to play this game because, well, for first things first, I have never played Portal up until about a week ago. And mostly it was because of where Portal 2 is coming out in uh, about a week from the time of this recording. So I thought, you know, why not? Let's go ahead and uh, play it, see how it is, since I got it for free with my laptop when I ordered it. Fell in love with the game, loved it to death. So I decided I'm going to bring you this gem of a game from Valve. And uh, along the way I will be uh, demonstrating a few of the achievements that this game has as a part of the Steam release. Uh, I'll try to cover as much as I can, and who knows, after this, maybe I'll even play Portal 2. So, let's get into it. New game. Test Chamber 0, Chapter 1. Let's start. <sighs> wow, what... where am I? What's with that timer? Where... what is this place? Am I in the future? Well, you can see over there the controls. W is forward, S is back. It, it's a... It's a W sad game. So, let's see what we got here. Hello, and Whoa. again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Admission Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun, and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities. Serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from. The portal will open in three, two, one. And just like that, we've been thrown right into the game. Already, we're playing with portals, and we can already get a good view of ourselves from here. Uh, but I'll try to get us a better view of our character later. For now, let's go ahead and take this nice little radio with us, because these are some awesome jams. Big Brother is watching. Big Sister, I suppose, but nah. Okay, so here we're already given a small demonstration of one of the things that happens in this game. In the Steam version of the game, you have these tiny radios scattered throughout the facility. You have 26 of them, and what it is is when you find them, if you take them to certain locations in the facility, they can pick up little receptions. Now, do note that this is my second, well, no, this is not my second playthrough of the game, but you cannot find the radios, or at least most of them, until the second playthrough. And the transmissions won't actually appear until then either, so you gotta play through the game first before then. It, it, it's something I believe they did so that you would focus on the game and then do the bonus stuff. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the Aperture Science Weighted Storage Cube. Okay, so I kind of talked through that first puzzle there. Basically, use the E key, which is going to be your use key for pretty much the entire game. Pick up the cube, place it on the button. It's a very simple first puzzle. Test Chamber 1. Now, if you're going for the radios, look over here. Uh, let me quick save here with a F6 first. One radio is right here. Very easy to miss. But yeah, just listen to the music Please and you'll have no problems. Cube on the science heavy duty super colliding super button. So now we need to go through here, pick up this, and wait for it to change. Perfect. Yay. Move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Radio number two. Transmission number two. And yeah, basically each of these test chambers early on is supposed to like demonstrate some of the physics behind the portals because 
when this game first off, uh, when this game first came out, it was rather radical, you know, like, most people think, when you think of a portal, um, usually people think of it as like a, um, as a rift into a different dimension or something like that, a gateway in a sense. But, um, th th these first two rooms were kind of to help demonstrate that the portal, um, is not so extravagant. You end up in the same place as before. You're doing very well. Ooh. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Wait, so I have lost my teeth to this stupid thing? What the hell? But anyway, there it is! The portal gun! Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These interdimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... Aw, I wanted to hear all that. So anyway, there's another achievement I want to show off in this le Let's Play. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. And that is the camera shy achievement. Um, this is something that was in the original game, I believe. Um, first, actually, I need to get up here. And then over here. Oh, I don't think I got it. But anyway, um, what it is is that... Your own safety. Do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Shut up, Gladys. I'm trying to make a point here. There are 33 cameras scattered throughout the facility. Certain objects may be vital to your success. Do not destroy testing apparatus. And what it is, is that... Um, let me collect my thoughts here now that G Gladys... GLaDOS, sorry. She, they haven't mentioned her name yet, but her name's GLaDOS. She's gonna be with us the whole time. But, uh, yeah, um, there are 33 cameras, and if you destroy them all, you get an achievement. Now, this has to be in a single playthrough of the game. Um, if you... Oh, give me a sec here. If you get, like, 32 of the, tr of the cameras on your first time through, and then come back for a new game and get the last one, it doesn't count. You gotta get all 33 in a single go. It, it, it does count still, though, if it's, uh in a single playthrough like you you'd, if you would use save states and stuff like that it still counts so long as it's not a complete new, completely new game but anyway there's radio number three transmission number three and I've got all three of the cameras in this room have I got all three of the cameras let me make sure I have I think I did though well let's see I've already got the one there uh, yeah I just wanted to make sure I have bad memory problems, so there you go. But yeah, I'll be showing off all the radios, where the transmissions are for those, and I'll be taking out all 33 of the cameras. So in test chamber, two, test chamber 2 there, you had three cameras, and there's another three cameras in here in test chamber 3. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Dolly noted. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. So yeah, at this point, she's just now gonna just say, testing apparatus destroyed, whatnot. Mocking you, basically. Ha uh ha. -huh. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Well done. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. So radio number four here is in a pretty easy to find spot. It's just sitting on top of that camera. Now, here's maybe somewhere where the whole radio thing gets a little annoying at times. Um, you can hear right now that we're in radius of where the transmission is, but it's hard to say where exactly it is. Let's try up here. Th there it is. Yeah, see, a little around here somewhere. It's up here near the ceiling. It's really easy to miss that. 
In any case, um... Yep. I did not mean for that to happen. Okay, let's see. One, two, three. I got all the cameras. Good. Let's go. So, basically, there's going to be a radio in pretty much every test chamber, except one or two, which is going to have an extra of one or two. We'll get to those when we get to them. Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well. Okay, we got cubes that can hit us in the head. Do note that. We got a button, which leads to the exit. Okay, something that should be noted, um... I, I actually looked at some of the uh, creator commentary for this game. Um, when I got to this point, they told me they actually did not have this glass wall here the first time. Like, realize that the game was as much a work in progress as it was in betas and all that, and they didn't have that glass wall there the first time. So, as you can imagine, all you could have done at that point was just go douche, and you solved the puzzle. Not what they intended, however, so they took it out. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Yay. And they're just nice enough to put one of the radios right here. Let's take both of these with us. Set this on there. Once again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. And this is where transmission number five is. So let's keep going now. Got both cameras in this room. Now I will try to mention as many of the achievements in this game as I can. Um, at least those that I care to really point out or say, hey, this is how you get this and whatnot. But yeah, really these puzzles are rather straightforward at the moment. Um, they will get more difficult as we proceed, but well, right now they're keeping it easy just so that we understand the gimmicks of this game basically. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Liar! You said you weren't watching. Alright, so we have a few things we need to take care of here. Let's start by getting this cube down here. And we'll just drop it there for now. And let's get the other one. Camera number two in this room. Um, I believe that's camera number ten overall. Oh look, it's the radio. Let's get it. Or... Let's bring it in here so that we have it over here. Transmission number six is down here in this pit. Now let's go through that door. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. What did I say? GLaDOS is a liar. But yeah, that's why you can't just run in and get the radio. You have to warp it out, because then they seal you in here. And so you miss the chance to get the transmission number six. But in any case, let's keep going. You know, I haven't quick saved in a while. I might want to do that. Okay, so this is the first chamber where we do not actually have any cameras to find. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. She is not lying this time. That thing will actually kill you, so be very, very careful. Easy way to solve this. Unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject on here. Yay. This better not kill me. No, it does not. Yay, it doesn't kill me. Now, you can hear the next radio, right? 
Well, you might be wondering, where the hell is it? It's up there, I said, up. Let's try to get a better aim at that. Right there. Aha. Whoops. And... Actually, I forget where exactly I bring this one. I think it's just, like, over here somewhere. There you go. Transmission number seven? Yeah, number seven. Okay, so we are seven radios, eleven cameras. I was trying to think of something to say just now. I, I guess I want to point out this here. Note that we cannot fire portals at metal walls. Yeah, they did that for a reason. They want to make sure you can't put portals on every surface after all. Of course, it makes some of the puzzles in this game a little harder. And some of the uh, remakes of the levels even more bastardly. I will show those off in time, the advanced maps, but for now, let's just keep going. Alright. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Found the radio. Yep. And there it is. Now we need to place a portal over there, and keep an eye out over here. There we go. No cameras in this room, just a radio. And it goes over here. Now let's just get rid of the radio. Ha 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 ha! Sorry, I love the song, it's just, I, ha I had to have an excuse to vaporize something in this Let's Play. If not that now, then later. Uh, but yeah, so far going great. Alright, let's see, test chamber... Oh, this is the next test chamber. Please this one's a little... We have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Yeah, she's not kidding. This stuff will kill you. As much as I would love to jump in and demonstrate it, let's not. Let's instead solve the puzzle. To solve this puzzle, we've got to, It's not going to be as straightforward as before. What we got to do, we got to fire it there. Let it go through. Fire it there. And bada bing bada boom. Aha. No cameras in this room, but as for the radio, you can see it right there. For this radio, this one is actually gonna be a little well, I wouldn't say hard, but you gotta be a little careful. Because if you're not well, for one hand Oh god! Well, on one hand, you'll die if you're not careful. But on the other hand, that platform can actually come back and kill you. It can crush you for some stupid reason. So, let's take this radio back over here. Drop it off over here. Number nine. A good rule of thumb is that usually, um, it's whatever test chamber you're in plus one. Because of test chamber zero, so. <laughs> Hooray, I'm, I can count. <laughs> But yeah, 9 radios, 11 cameras. Oh, maybe I should put up a portal again. There we go. So really, these test chambers at first are not really meant to be hard. It's, it's mostly getting you used to the physics. Um, once we hit, like, test chamber 13 or something is when it starts to uh, Very impressive. Please note get hard. Any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Yeah, right. That stuff can still kill me. I don't know, I don't know if she says that as a means of saying, oh, it's an illusion, or, I, like, th she says the appearance of danger. Is, is she suggesting that danger is not real? I really don't know. Alright. 
Let's see what we got here. The enrichment center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Oh no. no attempt to solve it. It can't be impossible. It just can't be. Okay, so you see this radio? This one's actually, well, I wouldn't say hard, but it can be a little difficult to get if you're unlucky. Let's save here. Okay, let's reload that, because I don't feel like climbing back up. The fact is, you have to try to grab it off that ledge. And the problem with this... The admission center apologizes. The problem is, if you're not fast enough after grabbing it, you can end up vaporizing it. And that's not fun for anyone. God damn it. It, it, it takes a while, because you gotta, like, grab it and then yank it away. Where'd it go? The enrichment center apologizes oh, got for it. this clearly broken test chamber. Now, the transmission is not over here, though. For us to get the transmission, we actually have to first get through part of this puzzle. Now, how are we gonna get this cube over there? Because it's gonna get vaporized otherwise. Unless... Once again, the Enrichment Center offers its most sincere apologies. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Extreme pessimism. Right. Alright. Where exactly did this go again? In here. Good. That is number... 10. Radio number 10, yes. Eleven cameras, ten radios. I gotta say that number out loud every time, just to make sure I'm not missing any. Because you'll be surprised, it is actually rather easy to miss cameras if you're not careful. Fortunately, concerning cameras, we got one Hello, right man. here. To reiterate, um, okay. Let's see, we can't jump up this. And we got a portal. Let's fall through. Haha! -ha! Next room. Now this is one of the first multi-room uh challenges. Got another portal. Let's just fire down. Go. Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Uh-huh. Well, to get this radio, we just have to, uh, save first. Got it. Right down here. Number 11. Yay. Now I gotta climb back up. Place the portal in the right place. Save. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Yep, in other words, the higher up you go, the faster you'll get shot through the portals. So there's that. And let's go through the next cha test chamber. At some point, I suppose I need to stop and actually talk a bit about Aperture Laboratories, since there is actually a little bit of background provided. But I think I'm just about ready to call it a day for this video. But first, let's go up here. The Enrichment Center promises Number to uh, always provide 13. safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Good advice. So as you can see, we got the por the orange portal gun down there. And we will get that next time on Let's Play Portal. This is Solomon, signing off. Have a good day.